and here we are with another illustration this is my last illustration I started with Blender I downloaded a, a set of free 3D models and then I set up my environment the camera and uh, all the things that I had in mind and then I moved into Photoshop to color my design this design started from an idea I had when I was still in school and uh, this is the design that I did when I was uh, in school it was uh, 1987 I was uh, 19 years old and it's quite impressive that I had that design <laughs> published in a book but uh, you have to keep in mind the period the context first of all uh, it was my second year in school in art school so I was not so professional and uh, during that period you have to keep in mind there was no internet just imagine if tomorrow they shut down internet you don't have any more google google image uh, pinterest uh, youtube and whatever no smartphones uh, nothing the only way you have to find uh, a good reference was uh, library and uh, if you live like i lived in a small town you had to drive miles and miles to find a decent library or maybe you could borrow a vhs of a good movie with uh, tanks and uh, and stuff like that but so it was pretty difficult so when you think about that today you have a plethora of uh, places where you can find references and it's no no surprise that the art uh, get better and better and better every day because of course you have a, a lot of information every day you can go on pinterest youtube uh, uh, google image uh, uh, find a movie uh, netflix uh, you have all the references you need uh, at hand so of course the art get better and better and better because of course you don't have to travel miles you don't have to uh, look into tens or hundreds of books to find the right image the right references and so yeah it's uh, quite easy today to create an image and have your references in place but anyway of course i was uh, still a young boy not a lot of uh, experience I was still learning hard and so on but back to the design as I told you I downloaded a set of free 3d models an Abrams tank a predator drone and I placed them in blender of course the the models was a single model and then I duplicated them and I placed in the way as I want it to be and then I just because I'm not so proficient in 3d and uh, I'm not uh, really interested in learning 3d well it, it's cool but it takes a lot of time and it's uh, at least at this moment quite useless to me well not completely useless of course if you have the chance to learn how to use 3d it makes your work faster because of course it will take a lot a lot of effort with perspective and uh, design to create an image like this just uh, with a ruler and a pencil and uh, create the right perspective and so on probably a design like this would take uh, I don't know probably more than a week to have something like this and if you have to do something like this on a canvas on uh, a cardboard probably you have to spend a lot of time as you see I I change the syringe that I place in the place of uh, the gun of the of the tank because it was uh, well this was the syringe that I found online free and so I had to modify it to make it look like a real syringe and anyway the idea behind this was uh, at least my first idea when I was uh, still a teenager was to summarize the plague of uh, my generation that was heroin I've seen a lot of friends dying because of heroin it was an addiction there was so many guys that were taking it 
heroin so i can say my generation had its own war and it was uh fighting against uh, heroin so the idea was about uh, yeah that idea the idea that uh, there was a sort of war in which we had many many dead people because of heroin so the idea of a tank with a syringe instead of a gun it's imperfect and during these days with this obsession about vaccines and they are talking every day about the idea of make v vaccination mandatory that i find quite disturbing because it should be a choice and of course uh, not everybody is okay with that and uh, uh, we know many people had problem with vaccines well making it mandatory to me it seems an act of war maybe against the people well maybe you disagree with me and it's fine it's okay but anyway when i think that a government think about making something mandatory something that relate to your own body i think it's quite disturbing and so this idea came to my mind the idea of uh, redraw that old idea with a tank with a syringe also because uh, it's quite disturbing this obsession with vaccines uh, because if you look at the big pharma data you will find that there are a lot of shadows and also a lot of connection between big pharma and the military industry so yeah this was the, the the idea but back to the design as you see it's just it's pretty easy because i had my model so i was just coloring them and i didn't want to use uh, the lasso tool or rulers I, I didn't want to leave it precise or too precise uh, i wanted to have a feel of something that was uh, drawn something uh, handmade and with the 3d you never have this uh, this feeling of something that is handmade and of course if i wanted something really polished really detailed i could just spend more time learning uh, blender and do everything in 3d and it wasn't my idea so i just take uh, let's say a shortcut instead of rebuild the tank uh, in all the details i just used the, the 3d model and it's pretty easy today if you think you just go online and you find a lot really a lot of 3d models for free and it makes the life of an artist uh, quite easy and if you think that i'm cheating well probably you should think about the artists when they were using the camera oscura the dark room where they had uh, the image they wanted to paint uh, place on, on in front of their canvases and so they were cheating too but who cares i i don't think it's cheating i think is uh, just plain smart i don't think that someone that has no training and is not an artist would be able to do something like this you need to know the technique how to apply to your design what kind of effect you want to achieve and so on it's not it's not easy it's not cheating it's just plain smart also because i'm doing this for myself it's not for a gallery or a publisher and even if it was well but well i think um, i don't think i'm cheating so if you think i'm cheating well <laughs> it's your problem not mine as you can see uh photoshop gives you a lot a lot of uh, opportunities can you think doing something like that by hand of course you can do it but probably it would take i don't know a lot a lot of time so to me is okay i still think it's a piece of art there is a good idea behind it there is a good application of techniques 3d models co uh, coloring in photoshop so 
I absolutely don't think I'm cheating. I just think I save time to do more art and so on. The title of this piece is Apocalypse Gates. I think uh, you can <laughs> you get quite easily the game that I'm playing with the title. And uh, anyway, I started with the background. My idea was uh, a background where there is this kind of storm that is coming together with the tanks and the predator in the air. And uh, I drew, as you've seen before, the background, the clouds and so on. I could have used just an image of a storm, but I didn't like the idea of just placing an, a picture, a photograph in, in the background. So I just drew my background and when I was happy to give a little bit more of texture, I just took an image of a storm I placed uh, over the, the background, over the clouds, and I changed the layer to overlay, turning down the opacity, just to give a little bit more of texture to, the, to my clouds, to make it a little bit more real, but not photographic. And then after that, I worked a little bit on the horizon, to make it uh, a little bit blurred because of course it's not a straight line and then I used two different layers to create that sort of uh, uh, wet sand on the ground there was uh, the first layer and the second layer uh, still using the overlay method on the layer to have that effect and I then I painted a few lines with white just because uh, I liked it. It was just by chance, because uh, it wasn't... I didn't thought about that. I, I was just thinking about the clouds that was reflecting in those kind of uh, wet zones of, uh, of, the, of the background. And then, as you can see, I just, uh, it was just a matter of coloring delete uh, all the lines of the 3D models uh, and of course you need to know how to color your your own design. I had to redraw a little bit the syringe, I had to redraw a few things but anyway it was just a matter of coloring and find the right uh, the right light because uh, the 3D model I'm sorry but I don't know how exactly Blender uh, operates on lights so the the lights on the tanks it, it was uh, a little bit disturbing because uh, it seemed uh, that uh, blender was uh, there was different lights it seemed qu it was quite disturbing to me because uh, it wasn't clear where the lights were coming from and uh, probably <laughs> I have to learn how to use Blender and maybe if I find time uh, I will do something like that but since it's not my work creating 3D images and stuff like that I just use Blender well actually I use Blender I don't know probably two three times this is the first time that I started using Blender a little bit more though, let's say decently because before this uh, image I was just opening Blender making some trials but uh, I never I never created anything with Blender so probably I should or I could study a little bit more well I will do maybe if I find time as you can see I found this model online that I use as a reference for the the gun that I'm not trying to make it perfect also because when I when I make a design and stuff like that I zoom uh, very close to what I have to draw but even if uh, it can work to have uh, something really really detailed uh, I think it's useless and uh, when I'm when I'm drawing I often go to the view menu and I select print size because I want to see what it will what and how it will be visible what I'm drawing when it will be printed because if you think about Photoshop you can lose a lot of time in little tiny details that are quite useless 
and can make your drawing even disturbing because there is an excess of details because of course with Photoshop you can zoom in and uh, draw perfectly every little design but even our eyes doesn't have that kind of precision in perceiving life stuff uh, any object you look at, at something you can look at detail and you lose some other details in the image so the same is a piece of art you it's better that you keep in mind the print size of your drawing and of course you can make it a little bit more detail to make it better but I think it's useless to I don't know that gun that I was drawing before or this piece that is in the background and I use the filter blur to make it a, a little bit credible because of course in, an, in a photographic image everything that is far behind it is, it's a little bit blur only the the focus point of the of the picture is perfectly in focus so yeah I, I thought I thought that I, and I think that it's quite useless to spend so much time trying to do all every little detail and stuff and the same with the planes with the predator drone I just uh, drew a little bit uh, here I'm, I'm using still the 3d image because the sir I didn't like the syringe probably it was in a mm, different perspective and there was those lines that I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I don't even know what are those uh, black lines in Blender. Well, uh, I will study a little bit with time to learn a little bit more about 3D. Actually, I studied 3D about 25 years ago. Uh, I was uh, quite good at that, but it was so boring. So, I don't know, the effect, it was... Um, so cold uh, it looked almost like there was no human intervention I don't know and of course during time uh, I mean 25 years later all the instruments all the softwares are changed Ev everything looks a little bit more easy but not so easy it takes a lot of time to learn how to use 3d and if you don't have the necessity to use it every day as I don't need something like that because of course I'm doing tattoos I'm not uh, in the publishing industry anymore since uh, since quite a time and anyway I think that 3d can be useful for movies and stuff like that but to create art I think that 3d is great to create some basic design um, well not even a basic design even a complex design maybe but something that uh, yeah like I did here you create something that it's quite complicated and will would take a lot a lot of time to to draw something like that but just by hand and with a ruler can you imagine you have to draw the first tank behind there and then the second one and then the third one well just the base with a, uh, j just drawing the pencil base for a drawing like this it will probably take i don't know a week <laughs> maybe not a week but a few days for sure even if you have all the references and stuff like that so having at your having a tanda 3d software it's always useful i think so back to the design i work with layers the first layer of course is, is the sky then uh, there is other two layers for the soil and then uh, there is uh, the layer where i place the 3d model well is is what it wasn't even the 3d models it was just a, a screenshot of the of the models when i found the right angle of the camera what i wanted then I just took a screenshot and I and I imported in Photoshop then over that first of all I created an overlay layer where I placed summary color 
just to have an idea what kind of colors uh, I wanted to use. And then over that, when I was a little bit happy, I just merged the layer and I went on here. As you can see, I use Photoshop to duplicate the wheels because what's the point to draw every every wheel, every one, just I duplicate it. Here, I'm just uh, planning the shadows just to give a, a little bit more contrast to my design. And I use uh, a lot of different layers. Uh, for the syringe, I just overlaid the 3D shadow that I already had in place. And then I paint it with uh, my brush. It's a brush that I created. I created that brush just to recreate the feeling of a 15 mag needle. And I got so used with that with that uh, brush, probably also because I use that brush when I'm, when I'm doing tattoos. So I got used to that kind of feeling. And so I'm almost always using that, uh, that brush. And whenever I need a different brush, usually I spend a lot of time looking for the right brush because I have a set of, uh, let's say, probably five or 10 brushes that I use uh, quite often. But when I need some effect, something different, uh, I created a different set lately, but there are so many brushes you can use to, f to, to recreate many effects. So I spend a lot of time doing that. And as you can see here, I'm just uh, redrawing all the predators in the sky just with the right light that I have in mind. And uh, of course, I'm not, I'm not going deep into details because anyway, I will blur all those uh, predators. I, I, I use different uh, amount of uh, blurring because of course, the, uh, as, far they, as far away they are, they will be a little bit more blurred than the, than the predators that are closer to us. But anyway, uh, especially for the little ones, it was uh, useless to do all the little details. Well, at least I think so. I wanted to keep it fresh more, as I told you, as it was, uh, of course, painted, not something that is just uh, traced from, from a 3D model, unless well, it will be useful, useless. Do, doing something like that, unless I repeat myself, unless you want to uh, do everything in 3D and it's, and it's okay, but, well, I didn't see the point to do something completely in 3D. It could be useful to learn how to use Blender, how to render, but um, uh, in this case, it wasn't my, my goal to learn how to use Blender. I just needed a, a base design to a base to to create my art, of course. And uh, I was telling you about the syringe. I used three different layers. I used the first layer just using the the part of the three D screenshot, and I just overlaid, and it worked. So I duplicated it to create uh, more contrast. And then I used a little bit of white to add light. And here you see, I, you can use the text tool to create uh, this uh, gradation on the syringe and uh, the deforming tool to uh, make it look real. And it's quite great. Can you think just drawing so precisely <laughs> those those numbers are on a, on a piece of paper it will take a lot a lot of time and probably you would be never so precise it's so great having photoshop and uh anyway when i finished the design or well when i was close to the end of the design i just created a new layer in uh in blue and uh, i overlaid over the the tank that are a little behind far away just because of course it 
to create this uh, effect of deepness because of course the things that are closer to you are uh, it's like when you look at the, at the landscape of course the uh, the mountains that are closer to you are darker than the mountains that are far away from you and the same in, in an image like this so I just created that layer and as you can see the difference is just uh, that kind of blue tone gives uh, a little bit more deepness to the image and make it more real more pleasant to to the eye and uh, when I was close to the end I thought okay I just uh, need to add a little bit bit more of transparency to the liquid in the syringe so because I didn't draw <laughs> the part behind the syringe so I had to draw all, all that part and uh, I created also the effect of light inside the syringe but it was not really visible so it was useless to make it perfect I mean you can do whatever you want if you if you want to that every little detail is perfect of course you can spend even a year drawing and it's something that is beautiful in art you you never it's never finished it's never finished as uh, leonardo da vinci said uh, there are uh, no finished piece of art there are just abandoned piece of art because no matter how good you are you will always find something to to fix in your image and here i was just uh, i changed my signature in this painting because um, I don't know, I'm not tired about my signature, but I need I needed something more how you, how you can say something more horizontal because my signature is uh, always vertical, and in this kind of design, it was uh, I don't know I found uh, it was disturbing. It it was taking away. The attention from the image to the signature at least that's what, what I thought so I don't know if I will use uh, this new signature often or not but well I think it's it was okay for this design and then I create a, a little bit of uh, reflection on the wet uh, sand uh, on the on the background on the ground because of course uh, if uh, when the light hits something liquid colored liquid uh, there is a kind of reflection and here we are with the little tiny details and uh, just correction and I'm um, fixing something retouch little things but the design is pretty is pretty much done this was the last few minutes a little bit of sand that I forgot there and uh, yeah this is the design you can see the old design and uh, the new the new one <laughs> quite an improvement so i thank you for watching this video and remember to subscribe to my channel click on the bell and uh, see you see you soon